Hey YouTube family, I'm back with another video and this time this video is on Miss Olivet Smelly. She put out a video a couple of days ago and she said she was very sick and she looked very sick. She was released to home by the hospital because she didn't want to continue staying in the hospital. And she was very fearful and I understand her fear. It was a real fear of dying in the hospital, especially since they were trying to force her allegedly or coerce her to be on the ventilator. And the one thing I must say is that to follow up on what all of it said about taking the oxygen off. Well, if you take the oxygen off, of course, you're going to have labored breathing and dif which is difficulty breathing. And she said her chest was sore and everything was sore when the oxygen was on. And I suspect she had that soreness of the chest because she was not receiving humidify air. Whoever the nurse was who started the oxygen therapy on her did not connect it to the humidifier allegedly and if the air the oxygen that you're breathing in from the machine from the o2 tank if it's not humidified then you're going to have that soreness on your chest because it's going to be too dry the oxygen at that point is too dry and you will feel that soreness that tightening that dryness and pain along with pneumonia and COVID all of these things combined will cause shortness of breath and pain and that's what she was experiencing and so she decided to unplug herself and when she unplugged herself of course her breathing was difficult and I'm surprised the nurses there did not properly explain to her that she would be in labored breathing. Or maybe they did, and she didn't listen. Anywho, moving on with the story. And so going back to all of it being sick when she was making her live video when she was uh, just released from the hospital and talking about how sick she was. And I could not help but think that for someone so sick who has been diagnosed with pneumonia and COVID-19, who is coughing a lot, but had enough strength to talk for so long just to bring a show to her audience, was to me ridiculous because if you have pneumonia and COVID-19 and you're coughing a lot, you should be resting. You should be resting your voice. You should be resting your whole body. You shouldn't be trying to make a show. So today is December the 23rd and I'm glad Olivette is feeling better. I saw her recent video where she is really walking around her room there at a shelter and is speaking stronger. She's walking stronger and she appears to not be coughing as much. I guess the medication they gave her for COVID-19 as well as the pneumonia is working. So kudos to Olivet on her speedy recovery. However, what I wanted to touch bases on is the Bible teaches us, not only the Bible, but the Quran and the Torah teaches us to honor thy father and thy mother. I say that to say this. A few weeks ago, Olivet Smelly put out a video and I distinctly recalled she was standing in front of the shelter and she was cussing her mother out left right and center and 
all the adjectives you can think of she was calling her mother but sometimes god uses us as examples for others sometimes the full wrath has not visited us for a reason so other people can learn from your mistakes i'm sure a lot of people who have seen all of it's cussing her mother out throughout the years because i understand this is not the first time i have seen in another tape where she did curse her mother out and so i know for a fact it was not the first time and i hope she learned from her bout with this covid 19 and pneumonia i hope she learned that she could have died and to make peace with her mother so I hope all of it calls her mother and make some type of honest apology. Because a lot of times when we apologize for our wrongdoings, it's not sincere and it's not coming from the heart. So I hope she reaches out to her mother off television, off the live, off of social media and have a one-on-one -on -one with her mother, who she wronged by cussing her out on television. That should have been handled behind the scenes. What all of it has to do is let God deal with her mother, because her judgment is coming. It's upon her, and she's going to have to answer for all the wrongdoing she did to all of it as a child. I absolutely agree with all of it when she said the sin is connected to the disease. And maybe it was in her subconscious that she said that because she's so right. When she sinned against her mother by cussing her out and not allowing God to deal with her mother, she herself cussed her mother out. And so the sin of cussing her mother out was connected to the disease of COVID and pneumonia. Well, sometimes God have a way of chastising us unruly children. Chastising his unruly children. And sometimes we wait for years to realize the wrath of God and sometimes it's immediate. And I think Miss Olivet got a little piece of God's chastisement. Because when you cuss your parent out, the way she cussed her mother out, the retribution was swift. And she is lucky that God had enough mercy upon her and she did not meet her downfall. And she's here to tell the tale of contracting COVID and pneumonia. So once again, I absolutely agree with all of it that the sin is connected to the disease. YouTubers, here's a little clip of Olivet interacting with her mother in one of the videos she put out on the internet. No time for this. I ain't got no time for this shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no time at all for this stuff. I don't like to vent myself and hear myself out. I see me not no time for people in the madness. You understand? Know I don't have no time for it. Oh, is this? Holy Vet, Holy Vet, Holy Vet, you gotta turn your own to the nature. 
surrender to God. You gotta turn your life to God. So take your mom, my whole life, come off of the phone all witch. Come off of the rascal at phone all witch. Let's get your mom. Come off of this rascal. Fucking dead. 
I grew up like a boy picnic. That woman never hugged me and tell me she loved me. Not even till this day. I'll make up my first Facebook check, 1500 dollars for the whole night. Buy a can of city camera to go get her. She told her I'll cost me panta bite. And be little me panta bite, that piece of shit, woman. Oh and my brother, I can't take a church of praise and if I land and I have millions of dollars too. You understand? And I go for a well picnic. I have the pit over there, I call me pit. That fella has scared me. You understand me? If you take a me, who would have bummed my wall and go block up next somewhere? Iris got dead. Got blood clot dead. Iris got dead. Your blood clot and bullet too. No got dead and me and me should have blood clot crashes. I got dead. Remember me tell her that. Me don't have no respect for none of who no got blood clot dead. Iris for dead long blood clot died. All right, So YouTubers, two, two wrongs don't make a right. And when you have a lousy mother or a lousy father, you let God deal with them. And you move on with your life in a positive way. And you show them that you are going to be great on this earth without their help. But you let God deal with them. Because if you square up against them and you cuss them out the way all of it, cuss her mother out then you look bad you end up being the villain you end up looking very bad in the eyes of the public and it doesn't really do anything for you I mean it you get a lot of things off your chest but you can get those things off your chest in therapy you know you go to therapy and you you know tell the counselor all the things that you had to go through as a child and you get it out that way it does the same benefit it gives you the same benefit as telling someone off so why not do it in a positive way go to therapy and express yourself that way and you let God deal with that person who has done you wrong here is a second clip a second tape a video that she put out on the internet a couple of years ago, cussing her mother out. Wait, mom, what you mean, my father? When you say Tony catch up, where? When my father catch up, mom? I say your grandfather. So, mom, what my grandfather have to do with me and you? So, mom, you ever sit down? Mom, let me ask you a question now. Honestly, no, we are talking. So YouTubers, drop your comments in the comment section of what you think about this video. And remember, when you put out negative stuff in the universe, like Olivet was saying in one of her videos to her mother, drop dead, Iris, drop dead. This was just a few weeks ago because that video was her in front of the shelter. And about two weeks after, she's the one who almost dropped dead. She's the one who almost died in the hospital of COVID and pneumonia. So you have to be very careful with your mouth. Words are powerful when you put them out in the universe. Because there's something called karma. And there is a God that sees all and knows all. So when you open your mouth to speak, you have to be very careful of your words. Okay, YouTubers, there you have it. That's just part of the video of Olivet cussing her mother out. And those pathetic words of, go dead, Iris, go dead. And who almost just died, Olivet, of COVID and pneumonia? Be careful when you put negative words out in the universe sometimes they come back on you youtubers i'm over and out that is my commentary don't forget to like share and subscribe to my videos and this channel 
by hitting that red subscribe button on the YouTube page before you leave. Thank you.